with his profound physical limitations. This aspiration carries with it significant challenge. Alex was crying a little bit. He said, I got yanked off my mind. He's a big brother. And so I stayed right where he could see me, and I called in the kids one by one. And I said, who's your hero? All three of them said Alex. And I said, why? And then he said, Alex is my hero. Look like he pops the word Alex is my hero. Because he just looks right Alex is my hero because he looks out for me. And they, one by one, they did it, and Alex just looked over and I ever done. So said, thank you. Kevin Malarkey's journey of faith has led him to grief and guilt over the accident and Alex's resulting injuries. He's been challenged by both his son's arduous physical recovery and amazing spiritual revelations. This journey has solidified his alliance with both his son and with the Lord. With Kevin, what I say demonstrates to him is just this I am able to hope. The bond between he and Alex is priceless. Absolutely priceless. When I think about Alex, I think the first thing he needs to say is I don't feel bad for Alex. I don't feel bad for him, I don't feel bad for myself. Because the whole trash work thing that brings you back to do you believe what you believe or do you just talk about it? To some people, it means an astronomical situation. They think that they can't get through it, they can't get over it. But he knows that with God, he can he can master this thing because God already knows the end of the matter. But not all things are good. But the Bible says all things work together for the good. Do you have never forget the voice of Jesus? continues to have a profound impact on everyone around him, starting with his family, in his extended church family, and beyond. You know, you read the scripture, and it's all these stories of people who had all kinds of challenges, but where God did special things in their life. I think that's always been for Alex's story, really um, has encouraged the body of Christ, not just here at Christ Lutheran Church, but across the community, and really anyone who's encountered the family. Suzanne. 